All right, today we're going to be making a color wheel project. So you are going to open a new document sized at 10 inches. Make sure that inches is selected 10 by 10 and 300 pixels per inch. That'll give you a square document. Then you should find a picture that you want to use. I searched on Pixabay for a guitar and already downloaded it. It's right here. Remember to see these side by side. You go to Window, Arrange, Float in all windows. Always, always, always when you're on the Move tool right here at the top, make sure that this box is checked and that you have your Layers and History windows open. I will have these just um, separate. Okay, so we're going to select our subject with the guitar by going to the fourth tool down, the Select tool and then click on select subject oops well that was and the reason that happened is because i'm on the wrong picture <laughs> so let's select the subject on the guitar picture and then go to the move tool and slide that guy over oh that did not work why didn't it work i don't know oh there we go all right i don't need that anymore so here I have the picture that I'm going to make my project out of. I want to put a big circle on here, so I'll go to the ellipse tool right here, and I'm going to hold my shift key down so that it makes a perfect circle and kind of fill up this whole space. I'm going to make the fill, which means the coat, the inside, just white. Okay, I'm also going to make the circle layer. Oh, I don't have my layers window open. That is another important one to have open. Okay, I'm gonna keep the layers. I'm gonna put my ellipse, which is my circle, underneath my guitar. Okay, so now I wanna make my guitar. Remember, I can rotate it and resize it once I have these little guides right here. So I think I might make my circle actually a little bit smaller. Maybe like right here. I don't know if you can hear my cats fighting, but my cats are fighting. All right, so I'm going to start with one picture, and I'm going to put it just at the top. Think about this circle as a clock. So this guitar is at 12 o'clock. I'm going to make 12 of these guitars and place them around the circle, kind of like the numbers on a clock. So I'm going to start by doing um, 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock. So in case you missed what I just did, I made a copy of this by dragging a layer down to this plus. So I'm going to rotate this so it's like totally opposite that one. I want to position them so that they're kind of the same, hanging out of the circle about the same amount. All right, I'm going to keep making copies. This one I'm going to put over here at the 3 o'clock position, which is right here. And then I'm going to make one at the 9 o'clock position, which will be, whoops, across from it. And then I need some more. So I'm going to continue doing that until I have 12. Okay, so I skipped ahead so that I didn't think anybody wanted to watch me do that eight more times. So now I have 12 guitars. You'll, you'll have whatever picture it is that you're working with. And we are going to make a color wheel. So I'm going to click on this top layer, my 12 o'clock. I'm going to keep using the numbers of the clock. Hopefully you're familiar enough with a clock. So my 12 o'clock one is right here. And you can see that that layer is highlighted. I know it's that one because if I click on the eyeball, it disappears. And I'm going to click on this adjustment tool right here and choose color balance. You're gonna do this 12 times. So pay attention, you're going to the, the half black, half white circle here, that's the adjustment tool. You're gonna to go to color balance and you are gonna get a, oh, there it is, it's hiding. You're going to get these color sliders. You have to do this very important step every single time. This box right here, you wanna click it. Otherwise, it's going to adjust more than one layer. We want it to just adjust the layer we're on, the 12 o'clock layer.
And I'm going to make it red. So I'm going to slide this all the way over to red 100. And I want to do that for midtones and shadows. That's it. You'll notice this guitar only turned red. So I'm going to do my 12 o'clock and then I'm going to go to my 4 o'clock and I'm going to do the same steps. Go to the adjustment, click on color balance, make sure that I select this and I'm going to make it blue. I'm going to do that for midtones and I'm going to do that for shadows. Notice this guitar is blue. Now I'm going to go to the 8 o'clock over here. Same exact thing. Go to the adjustment, color balance. Don't forget to click that. And I'm going to make it green. I'm going to do it for the midtones. I'm going to do it for the shadows. All right, so I have my three primary colors on my RBG color wheel. Now I'm going to go to the ones in between. So in between red and blue, we have this two o'clock layer. So I'm going to do the same steps, go to color balance, click on this, and I'm going to do um, these cyan, magenta, and yellow sliders. So in between um, red and blue would be the, the magenta because this is the one in between. And I'm going to do it for midtones and for shadows. And then I'm going to do the one that's between blue and green right here. Follow those same steps, color balance, click this one. And this one's between blue and green. So here's my blue, here's my green. So I'm going to go to the other one that I didn't use and make it cyan. Cyan is the color that is between blue and green. That's why we're doing it. And this uh, magenta, which is like a purpley color, is between red and blue. And I'm going to do the 10 o'clock. This is between green and red. So here's red, here's green. So I'm going to go to the one that doesn't have red or green. I'm going to slide it to yellow. I'm going to do it for the midtones and for the shadows. It's already looking good. I have one, two, three, four, five, six more to do though. So let me go to the one o'clock and I'm going to go here to color balance. These are all the same steps over and over, but we have to decide what color this is. It's in between red and magenta. This was our red, this was our magenta. So I'm going to use the red slider and the magenta slider. I'm going to do it for midtones and for shadows. And you keep on doing that. So this one right here, the three o'clock, is going to be between the um, oh, the magenta and the blue. So when I get to that one, oops, that's not what I wanted to do, but I have a history, so I'm fine. Uh, I'm gonna go to nope, I wanted that one. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to this layer, and I'm gonna go to color balance. And it's between magenta and blue. So I'm using, oops, what did I forget to do? I forgot to click that. So it's between magenta and blue. So you can go ahead and um, read the slides that came with this assignment. I would first go through and try to figure out what colors to slide to for each of the rest of them. But if you get stuck, all of the answers are on the cheat sheet slide towards the end of this presentation. But I'm going to skip ahead now to where I've done all 12 colors. Okay, now I've adjusted all of the layers. So you can now see I have my circle that's behind the guitars. I can either delete it or maybe I want to fill it in now. I have to click on that ellipse tool down here. And remember, this is the inside color and the outside outline. What if I make it black? That looks kind of fun, doesn't it? All right, so you can either delete the circle, change the circle color. You can add something fun to the center. It's up to you. And then you need to put something in the background. So I already found an image that I want to use on pixabay.com. I found some just music. So I'm going to drag that and drop it here, but you can see in my layers, it's way at the top. I want it behind like everything. So I'm gonna drag it down to underneath the circle even. 
and then that looks good. I like it. Make sure it fills up the whole thing. I'm going to press enter to lock in that resizing and then I'm going to flatten it, save it as a JPEG, and there is my guitar color wheel. All right, you guys, good luck. Thanks for watching.